hey guys, Wasaka here. So before we go into fighting the Swine King, I just wanted to let you know that I was not able to um, work out the Scarlet mod in addition to the other ones that we had. I messed around with stuff. I tried to download some compatibility patches I could find, which was only one, by the way. Um, and it was with the Curio interaction between the Cultist Simulator mod, or Cultist Trinkets mod, and this... Um, and the Scarlet Runes mod. So currently I have retracted that mod out of the list. Um, it's funny because I'm pretty sure the crash wasn't caused by any of the things that it has conflicts with. I'm pretty sure it was caused by the actual strange situation that two things tried to happen at once. So um, it tried to place the horror on us and at the time that it tried to place the horror on us it also tried to let our character's trinket go off, which then stress healed the entire party. And I think those things tried to happen at the same time. The game couldn't understand. I had a conflict between the two, and it just crashed. Or it didn't crash, but it never resolved the turn. So, unfortunately, it'd be like that sometimes. But, um, we do one thing. First things first, we're running out of blood, by the way. We're going to have to go get some winemaker's reserves pretty soon. Um,. It just has to be like that. So I don't think we're really going to need that much, but I'll bring some of this stuff. I think this increases stun resistance, if I'm not mistaken, so I'm just going to bring all of it. 2-2. Two, two. We It should be a pretty straightforward um, walk to the boss. It normally is on the, on the Warren, so... Three of these... Um, everybody's practically the same dodge level, so it's kind of hard to d decide. Now, one thing we had a problem the last time was speed, so I'm going to bring speed for everyone. May as well, right? I'm just like... What's well, going to maximize our chances of winning? And I, by the way, I will state that I am pretty sad about that situation. I actually don't think we're going to need this. So I just want to buff up and try to beat this as much as I can. Oh, wait. We're going for stun resistance on that. I want one of those 100%. You're probably thinking, wow, you are really overpreparing for this. Well, I got absolutely dominated last time, okay? Get off my back. I'm stressing a little. I want to win. I just had the game crash on me, man. It's it's out, It's out. rough out here. Okay, we have blood. We have food. We have cure for bandages. We have shovels to get through crap. We have tons of holy water, which I think hopefully does stun resistance. We have stun resist tonics. We have a stun chance tonic for our stunner on the boss. We have crit, speed, and HP, and then we have damage. This should be fine. My first attempt. I don't think we'll make our money crude, back for the this victory. Disappointing. I soon found, however, that the type and condition of the host's meat was a critical factor. The best results came from pigs, whose flesh is most like that of man. Yeah. A nameless abomination. A testament to my failures. It must Crit. be destroyed. Crit. Crit. Everybody gets speed. I have max, max HPs on our front, and the rest of these are um, combat specific trinkets, so we'll go all the way down there. Or not combat specific. What I mean to say is, oh my Jesus, hi. Uh, that's a lot of protection and resistances you have there, friend. This kind of sucks, actually. Uh, 
Oh, this really sucks. This really, really sucks, actually. The uh. abyss returns even the boldest gaze. I don't even know what she's gonna be able to do back there. This is this is really bad. This is just like one of those scenarios that you never ever wanna be in. Let's just continue to get this guy to death. I think he's gonna die, yeah, so he's dead. We ignore him now, which is wonderful. But this guy is still gonna be devouring our faces. Man, he has so much protection. Okay, he needs blood now. Here you go, friend. We can start carving through some of that, I guess. Nice 27 is always nice. There we go. We're pretty much back to our workable scenario now. Time to perform and now this guy's in the front, minutes. so we can actually start beating on him real hard. Oh my god. Yo, do you have any chill? And if if not, can you find some and please apply it directly to the forehead? 150%. Um, wow, he resisted. It was like a 10-15% chance for him to resist. That's wonderful though. Um, the odds of bleeding him are decently low. It's like a 50%. I think we'll just get the raw damage in as we can. And we'll just go for piercing instead of putting that debuff on him. Even though I really want it to go down. Sometimes it just doesn't work out like that. I have this skill on specifically for the extra damage received, by the way. Lowers protection a bit more. And if you're curious, it, it's true, he is in the wrong position. Or, yeah, she's in the wrong position, I think. Monstrous Ooh. size Beautiful. has no intrinsic merit. Honestly, it was a pretty bad fight, a but it could have been so much worse, so... You take your victories where you can get them. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. One thing we need to make note of, though, is we need to see... ...where we can grab a rest. Okay, we have someone invisible, we have more stress, and then we have more stress. Oof, okay. I wouldn't mind us getting someone out of the way here. So close. We don't have Hound's Harry active. So we do have to commit the damage to him to actually get the kill. But I do think it's okay. I also have the protection buff, by the way. Um, I'm thinking spam, and this is going to be a lot more useful in the actual boss fight when we get there than the damage buff is. Because I feel like her damage is going to be fine. I feel like her protection is going to be the part that sucks for us. Consumes the mind. This guy doesn't have additional crit, so hopefully he doesn't do anything too heinous. A momentary abatement. He is unholy, so. Wait, we can. Damn. I did not feel like we should have been able to hit him, but I guess we just got the reach. Mortality yeah. Clarified in I, a single I don't strike. know it to be true, but I feel like when they're stealth, they get more crit chance. Which does suck. Of course, we're, we're missing out on the potential of 50% extra damage to pop out occasionally from uh, the self buff. But I honestly think that the extra defense we're getting is going to be worth it. The bigger Good, get the rid beast, of him. The greater the glory. This has not been uh, a great fight for us. It hasn't necessarily been the worst, but it just has not been that useful. We're we're surviving, not thriving right now. And improvement. Hey, little bit of stress relief, baby. I'm all about it. 
decimated. Nice crit. Thank you very much. Thank you kindly. Seize this momentum. And before Push we get surprised in a fight, let me. End. Okay, it's not stun resistance, so we kind of brought way more than we needed, but whatever. I'll take it. We brought the tonics at least. That's why I'm happy we ended up bringing both instead of just one or the other. Oh, there's nothing in it. Okay. I honestly had a mini panic attack. We are probably going to end up camping here and then grabbing that before going into the boss fight, so. Holy shit. Man, they're, uh. Not giving us anything, huh? Thank you. Holy falls, crap. A faint hope blossoms. You are so tanky with so much crit. Maybe we should actually try to kill this guy. No, we shouldn't. Jesus, though. This guy is actually a monster. This is gonna hurt so bad. I mean, he's marked, so he's gonna start nomming on you. How does that last? Four rounds. The ground quakes. Good damage. A singular strike. Dude, just crit them out. Crit them till they're gone. Well struck. Yeah, we didn't even get the crit that time, I don't think. Maybe we did. No, I think we got the crit from her still. Nice, good resistance is there. Hopefully he'll die before he gets a turn. I really don't want this crit to go off. Especially not on a marked target. Priya! You tell him. A you let him know. Skill and purpose. Her entire job is to stun currently. I'm pretty sure she's gonna be able to stun the boss, which is kind of what we're looking for the here. Blood quickens. Only 42%. That's still decent crit chance, honestly. I don't think we can hit him in the front. 90. I mean, honestly, it's still like a 60% chance to stun. Didn't work out, but it was still a really good chance. Come on, Pierce, baby. Confidence surges as the enemy nice. crumbles. You are doomed. Doomed. Huh. Success so clearly in view. Um. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Oh wait, 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 wait. wait. A spark without kindling. It's a goal without hope. Okay, the same exact thing, so. Prevent nighttime ambush for sure. Oh, she doesn't have her thing. She didn't have that. No, not that. Where's the damage time? She didn't have the crit. I guess she doesn't have size two damage. I think, maybe I'm thinking of someone else. Dodge. Um. Everybody's used one of those. It's kind of what I was hoping to not have happen. But I really don't want her to ever miss her. Everybody has speed too, right? Well, that's awkward. The odds of you getting the two that you've used already seems a little low. But I guess I'll take it. <laughs> um, accuracy I already have on you. You're the next most important probably. And then protection. Um meh. The match is struck. A blazing star I just want to make sure we chose to do that before anything else. So now, oh, we don't have the thing. I knew it. Sucks. 
That's okay though. Honestly, it, like I said, it's like the least, it's the least likely thing for me to worry about is that kind of stuff. I just wanted to make sure we had all the stuff we needed, all the extra buffs, all the, all the little tonics. Right. When we get to the door, surprising. these tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. We will give damage and crit, damage crit, damage crit. You get stun chance, and then everybody gets stun resistance. So hopefully Wilbur doesn't rock our world In too hard. Radiance, may we find victory. Damage reflection, gross. It is a travesty, a blundering mountain of hatred and rage. Man, that's quite a bit of a uh, quite a bit of damage reduction there, bud. I don't know if I like that. We aren't attacking yet anyway, we're just going for stuns, and we got our first one, which is so nice. So he's going to be completely unstunnable on the next one, which is fine. And his bleed chance is so low, luckily, that we actually got a bleed on, which is hilarious to me. I don't expect to resist all of these. He's unstunnable now, so we pop a dog treat. Hit him with a fatty. Dude, that's so much damage. Holy shit. Everybody's getting some protection. Damn. I hate it. Okay. How quickly the tide turns. I actually hit exactly lethal. Okay. That sucks. The unfortunate stun right there. Oh, don't kill. This is no place for the weak or foolhardy. Dude, that is brutal, man. He should resist, hopefully. Oh, that's unlucky. Dude, that is so brutal. Oh no, please don't get stunned. It really do be like that sometimes. I mean, currently we are just straight murdering ourselves though, which is extremely brutal. That's a pretty good heal. Definitely needed. Okay, this is definitely him going to dust store as well, which kind of sucks, but oh man. Mm -mm.
I'm thinking if we get him high enough. Okay. Ah. Dude, Wilbur is so OP. I guess we'll just mark him. Then we'll get... I mean, we, we shouldn't even have... We can't even deal the mark damage I want to deal. It's pretty annoying, man. It's still gonna deal like, what, fucking eight or something? Ugh, god, that's so dumb. Hopefully that doesn't go through. It did. There's that big damage of the spectating. Now this kind of depends if Wilbur feels like just ending us or not. Let's see. Another life wasted. All right. In the pursuit of glory and gold. I have to heal here for the simple fact that even if we kill this guy, we still have to deal with Wilbur. We can't deal with Wilbur alone. It's just not gonna happen in a million years. This doesn't go through. It went Injury through. and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Can't stun him, but we can hit him. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. More Dude, is that glitch? Feeding the evil therein. Is it glitch? Does he just have a hundred percent chance to kill you if he hits you with that fucking attack? That's insane to me. Survival is a tenuous proposition in this sprawling tomb. All right, Darkest Dungeon, help me understand. Where there is no peril in the task. I'm looking up the wiki there right can be now. no glory in its accomplishment. I don't see anything that says that Wilbur has a 100% chance to kill you. But, uh, apparently he does. That's really stupid. Flames on the horizon. Sulfur in the air. The <sighs> are at the door. Yes, they are. We definitely can't take you. I'm actually, like, fucking pissed. That's interesting. Do we have a self bleed on this character? We do. It's kind of neat. Maybe you could make something out of that. Very is nice. She doesn't have an AoE heal, so she's kind of less useful than what you'd really want. Another shield breaker, which I love, and another keeper. I can't remember if our last one died or if we just got rid of her. <laughs> Oh man, this one really hurts. Hurts me heart. Um, 
Well, let's see what we can buy. Maybe, maybe sh a shopping spree will make us less depressed. Fifteen percent HP. Okay, it's kind of neat. Dude, that's insane. Which one is Fury again? Is that the one that I liked or is that the one that I didn't like? One second. Is that the one I really liked or was that the one that I didn't really like? The, it's an important question because it kind of depends on what we're going to do here. Oh, he was level two. Yeah. No, we liked Wraith. We didn't like Fury. Fury is the one we didn't like. On kill, lower stress. Monster kill, all monsters get... Okay. But if Fury dies, shit goes bad. We already have a prodigy set I don't think we're going to be swapping out of. From skill, 50% guard duration. 100% armor piercing for the thrall. 20% damage versus husk. 10 crit. That stress itself on attack. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. A thrall hits like a truck. Hmm. That's interesting. Minus 50% damage for melee skills. Range pretty much don't hit, so it, it stops you from using the AoE to span that out. I see. So now you're a melee only character. But you can deal a lot of damage. Does it activate on repost is the true question. Beastmaster, blight amount when stealth, blight amount against bleeding, blight amount received. On attack you also blight. That's pretty good considering you can attack twice, that'd be really fun. All right, well, let's see what we're close to. Husk. Okay, so that's if you want to do more of that level six stuff. Um, Art piercing, bleeding. On hit, bleed. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm wondering, hold on, I'm gonna look some stuff up real quick. Uh, Darkest Dungeon Ruby. Okay, well, what mod is it added from? Is it not called Ruby Whip? I was really hoping we could just find it really quick. Just Dang it, I wish I knew what mod this was added from. Because if this hits everybody, this is OP. If it doesn't, then it's much less OP. And that's insane. Um, I don't want to commit to anything yet. There's so many things. I want to keep looking through this. Maybe we'll decide. I don't know. Maybe we'll just maybe we'll decide soon. Oh, my heart, man. A short master dungeon. Kill the brigand Vulf. Um, I don't think we can do this. I just don't think we have the level sixes ready for it. It's a little, a little scary for my taste after we just got absolutely butt pounded. We do have three sixes and we do have some healers at five. It is technically possible to attempt. It would look like this. Yeah. 
Yeah, it'd probably look something like this. With her being our, like, middling support. I don't know if we're gonna do it, guys. My, my heart hurts so much. And if we lose Rinald, it's gonna hurt even more. You know, it really do be like that sometimes, and I've been used and abused by Dark Dungeon before. I know the drill, okay? It's not my first rodeo. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. If you guys loved it, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. If you guys absolutely adored it, check out my Twitch on the description below, and check out my Patreon. You pledge as little as $1 or up to 10 to help my sore heart. No, not really. My sore heart's fine. To help me pay my bills, help more content get to the channel more regularly, and really, I mean, if you just want to support me. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys forever, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Everyone, have a good one.